I can't believe I'm finally doing this. I've talked about doing this since the beginning of the year and it's just crazy. Like I feel like, oh I can do this and then I'm like, oh maybe not. And then I'm like, okay I can do this. Like literally, um, I've been trying to do this video for like forever and even if my boyfriend and friends and so many other people that I really don't expect to push me through it, actually do it, pushing me through it, like I literally talk to customers about it and they're like, oh you can do it, like just do it, like do a first video and then keep it going and I'm like, hey, I'm just going to have fun and guess what, I'm wearing makeup guys, I haven't worn makeup in three months, so this is, this feels good, you know when they say like people argue back and forth about you know, wearing makeup and how it helps you or just makes you feel good. I didn't get it, but now I kind of get it because I've just been rolling with life <laughs> since the quarantine started or this lockdown started. I've been just rolling with life. Um, it's nice to be back. Uh, nice to put on makeup and whatnot. Um, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I would highly recommend, of course, that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notified once I have a, big, a new video and fingers crossed I am really praying um, I already have two videos recorded so I'm hoping and praying that I will do my best to have two videos every week and now that I'm in my own space God it is so feels so great to have your own space like it feels so great to have your own house and not have roommate I'm not saying roommate are wacky but they are. <laughs> but if it was great to have your own space, you know, do your own thing, it's like no one is gonna be like, oh Gabby, don't use the stove or oh, Gabby, I'm about to cook. This is my this is my kitchen. Like this is mine. Like no one, nobody can tell me what to do or what not to do, which is great. <laughs> um so I was like, oh, um, a lot of people are asking me to focus on one thing with my channel. Obviously I can't focus on one thing because I have a lot to share. But don't have a lot. I feel like there's something on my face. Where's my phone? I'll be right back. There's nothing actually. I just feel like there's something on my face. Anyways, um, my first, um, everyone was telling me, oh my god, you should focus on one thing because that would make it easier for you. So I'm like, what can I focus on? What do I like doing, enjoy doing that I probably would not get tired of doing and tired of sharing? And really, I couldn't figure one thing out. But I finally felt like it would be food. Like, if you know me, like if you say you know me and you don't know how passionate I am about cooking, about cooking good food and how passionate I am about food and about eating, then um, you probably don't know me. So I was like, let me introduce myself. <laughs> I am Neka Gabriela Maju OSC. Everyone call me Gabby, some people call me Gabs. Call me whatever you want to call me, it doesn't really matter. Um, so this is a name that I have. Um, my channel is called Gab's World, so please subscribe to Gab's World. Um, I call it Gab's World because I feel like I'll be sharing a lot of different things, so it's better to call it Gab's World instead of calling it like a specific thing or my name. So Gab's World is what my channel is called. Subscribe again, share, comment. Um, I am 23 years old, trying to figure out my life, obviously, because um, I don't really know. I kind of know what I want to do, but it's just like this. I feel like, can I do it? Well, I know I can do it. It's just so much that I want to do and I need to just calm down and figure out one thing that I really enjoy doing. And I feel like it's food. So after um, literally have one more class to graduate for, with my AS degree in acting and theater act, I decided to go into culinary and nutrition. So right now I'm taking classes at DVC um, classes. You know, I don't know if I'm going to, I'm probably going to get a culinary degree and then because culinary degree and nutrition degree are kind of like there's like only three classes that makes it different. So I'll take all the classes and then I'll probably transfer to get a nutrition, a bachelor's in nutrition, which is that is my plan. Um, so I, I've been loving my class so far. Last semester I had a class on nutrition, which was really fun. I got to know a lot of things that I didn't know about food and nutrition. So that was really nice. And anyone who thinks it's because I moved to the US, that's why I have now. I've, I've always loved cook it like if you know me back in Nigeria I love cooking and it's just been a part of me just food food like anyone who says they're a foodie and they don't like cooking I don't know what kind of foodie you are um but let's not talk about that so my video today is gonna be simple I'm trying to keep it short here but as you can tell I love talking and I'm probably five minutes gone already without even telling you guys what the video is about today 
So today's video is going to be about my top six favorite kitchen appliances. Like kitchen appliances that I have to have. Like I feel like if I didn't have this or if I don't have this kitchen appliance, life is not the same. And this is 2020. We're trying to make things easier, better, simpler. So um, here we go. I'm going to show you guys six kitchen appliances that are my favorite that I love to use and what I can and will use it for, usually use it for, and enjoy. The first one is air fryer. Like, I have a big problem when people tell me they don't have an air fryer. Like, this is my baby. What are you talking about? If you don't have an air fryer, there's a problem. If you don't have an air fryer, there is a big problem. And we need to settle this problem. Like, this is a miraculous thing. Like, you could use this for anything. And I got this on sale, I think for, well, I didn't want to buy it. My boyfriend bought it for me. But I got it on sale for $39. This is the Chef Man. And this has been my true love. This is, if you... Uh, you know, busy if you have family, if you like cooking, but you want things that makes it easier for you. And air fryer is what you need because you could do chicken, fish, you could do beef, you could put vegetables, you could do anything. You could fry anything. You could literally fry. You could put in an air fryer. So, by the way, you know this is 2020. We like food, but we still want to be healthy. So, you all need an air fryer. I don't care which one. Just get one. It's, you could get it on sale, you could get used one from Facebook Market. I would not recommend getting a used air fryer because you don't know from what household it's coming up from. So I would say you go on Amazon, check sales. Now it's Memorial Day this weekend, so check out, you know, where can I get an air fryer for a cheap one. Check any way that you can. Just get an air fryer. Like, you can put your vegetables in here, toss it in olive oil, salt, pepper, put it in there for like, what, 8 minutes or 350, ready to go. Put your chicken in there and it's like you could put everything in there put a timer go do whatever you want to do come back and it's ready what explain to me why would you what just tell me why you want to have an air fryer this is like a lifesaver you all need an air fryer i like i said i don't care which one it is i don't care what company it is there's also the ninja one which is like on the expensive side but it's uh it's a, it, it does it's like three in one thingy so if you can afford it I can't. It's not a priority for me right now, but you could definitely get, I think it's like $250 or something like that, but it's definitely worth it. It's an easier way. I mean, I know people would say you could throw it in the oven as well. Yes, you could throw it in the oven, but with an air fryer, it gives you this nice crispiness, crunchiness. I, I love putting my chicken thighs in there, you know, marinated overnight, put it in there while I'm doing something else, maybe doing laundry or reading or whatnot, 20 minutes. Juicy, tender, crispy. Nothing better than an air fryer. Let's just put it out there. The second thing that is my favorite thing in my kitchen, um, my favorite appliance in my kitchen, is my Ninja Blender. Um, this Ninja Blender is also not mine. <laughs> I have three blenders, people. Three freaking blenders. I bought one from Walmart for $20. And it wasn't, if, if anyone knows, if you want to make a car or my mom, you need a good blender because... If you don't have a good blender, it could ruin the blender and not make your food come out the way you want it. So I had to, well, I didn't sell that. So I bought another one. I think it was an Oyster, Oyster, or whatever. Oyster, I don't know what it is. I don't know. Um, I got that one at Walmart also for $70. $70, I think? Uh, for $70, I think. That was working pretty good. I mean, you had to soak the beans overnight if you wanted to make more money on car. But, you know, it worked really great. And then my boyfriend's apartment were giving Christmas gifts. I don't know, but they gave him a Ninja Blender as a Christmas gift. And obviously, he doesn't really use Blender that much, so he gave it to me, which was perfect. So I had three Blenders, um, which you don't really need three Blenders, so I sold one and gave one to my auntie. But my Ninja Blender is awesome, awesome. I could blend beans in there without putting water in it, and it blends really good. So you need a good blender. Let's just say that. Point blank, period. I don't care what it is. Try to read reviews, go on Amazon. Get it on sale, you know, try to do some, just get a good blender. Because if you don't get a good one, one that can do all the job, then you have to keep getting, um, you you prefer to get a cheap one, like a $20 one. But then you have to keep getting a $20 one every time the $20 one breaks. Because with beans, it, yeah, it's not going to last. So you need a good blender. You need hand mixer. Like, it's 2020. I don't want to be 
in my kitchen trying to make cake and then using a uh, whip or whatever it's called to whip the butter sugar for 20 hours maybe use a blender a mixer for five minutes or you could get a big bowl mixer I would definitely suggest if you're getting a big bowl mixer just go all the way and get a kitchen aid one because that's too long but if you can't afford it I got this for um, Amazon. I think it was running for $30. By the way, I'll leave a link to everything I'm mentioning here. So you can use it. This is for everything, obviously. It's a hand mixer. It comes with everything in there. And, you know, it's easy to store. I got this for $20 or $30. Because I don't go all, not like I'm rich or anything. So I don't go all the way when I'm buying stuff. But I try to get the good one instead. Um, the next thing you need is a rice cooker. Like, it's $20.20. I don't want to be cooking rice in a pot. I've got no time for that. So this is obviously small because it's me and my boyfriend. So we don't need a big one. It's just two of us. This would cook, I think, two and a half cups or two cups of rice. Let's just say that. And two cups of rice is a lot. That's like for two days for two people. So that's a lot of rice. So I would usually get this. I got this on Amazon. I think also for twenty dollars. It also comes with this cute little steamer thingy. So sometimes I put a foil in there. If I'm cooking like salmon and I want it steamed or vegetables or whatnot. I put a foil in there, season my fish or whatnot or my vegetables and I just cook my rice. You know, all you have to do is wash your rice, put it in there, put some water, put some butter or oil. Put it on, let it in there 20 minutes while you're doing something else. Maybe making sauce or doing something. It's just like an easy thing. Like you don't want to be watching the rice or cooking on the stove every five seconds. Or you can put it in here and then when it's ready, it goes all by itself. What up? Look at that. Easy peasy. We are not stressing ourselves in 2020 or in life again. This is not 1963. So Another thing you definitely need is this big, you don't need a big giant one like this, but it's a crock pot. And <sighs> once again, crock pot makes life easy. Because you guys can literally even see the sticker where I got it. Goodwill, and it was $10. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll try to zoom in. It's ten dollars a goodwill. It's a great crock pot. I'm definitely trying to see if I could get uh, an instant pot instead because that's better. But it's just a crock pot. Sometimes I'm lazy. Obviously, I love cooking. I absolutely adore it. But I'm lazy sometimes. So all I do is marinate my chicken, my fish, my whatever. I usually don't use fish with crock pot because fish cook really fast and crock pot is usually for something that you need tender and you want to cook it for a long time um i would usually do like a barbecue chicken you know throw in two cups of barbecue sauce three chicken breasts add some garlic powder add some onion powder salt black pepper add a little ketchup maybe sriracha leave it in there if i want to go to work and I have an eight hour shift i can put it in there on slow cook or low cook for eight hours by the time i come back oh, it's shredded it's juicy it's nice and all you need to do is get some hawaiian bread or any bread that's sweet um or you cook a whole chicken put it in there put some vegetables in there cook it slow if you're cooking it low um then it's you need it longer so if you're cooking it, if the recipe says four hours low um four hours in a crock pot right it has to be a high if you're cooking chicken especially if you want it really tender but if you're cooking it um high gotta be four hours if you're cooking it low, double the time, so eight hours. Um, it's a lifesaver. Like if you have a family, have a tight schedule, put your chicken in there, put your vegetables in there. I don't really put my vegetables in there because I like my vegetables crunchy. But some people put like carrots, and mushrooms, and potatoes in there with the chicken. Go to work, put it on low cook. Voila! Come back, dinner is served. Look at that, easy peasy. Another thing that I really like in my kitchen is this little eye cock. I probably seen it very wrong. Um, it's a waffle maker, a toaster, or toast maker. In Nigeria, we call it toast, but I don't know what to call it here. But if you're in Nigeria, you probably know what I'm talking about. Sorry for the noise. And it's a three in one, right? So you could literally make waffles in there. You could put your butter in there and make your waffles, or you could take it out and put this and make like if you want to grill like a hamburger i got the small one because again i don't have anyone it's just i and my boyfriend so um he makes waffles because he likes the waffles in there that's why there's a waffle tray in there 
um, but if I want to create like two um, burgers or any like train burgers or whatnot, and you want it to be, it's like a grill kind of shape, so it's awesome. I think I also got this for forty dollars. I think that's what I think I'm going for. So this six things I mentioned right now are lifesavers. Like I try to make life easy for everyone, for myself, and if I want to do that, I have to use things that you know hurry the process, but still makes it look good, it tastes good. I was talking to a friend the other day and she's like, what kind of air fryer should I get? I'm like, just get one. I don't care what it is. I don't care how much it is. And typically you'll find a good one. You could go to like thrift stores. Sometimes you will find them in new, like, just literally be everywhere. <laughs> Sometimes you can find them in the boxes. They're new, but maybe the boxes are damaged or something and you get it for like 20% off or even 50% off. Just get an air fryer. Like, out of all this, you could tell that my favorite is the air fryer because you, there's a problem if you don't have one. There is a problem. Just makes everything easy. Do you even know you can make your own kale chips in your air fryer? You can make french fry without the oil. You can make plantain without oil. Bro. Get an air fryer. That's all I gotta say. If you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Like I say, my goal is to get 2,000 subscribers. Um, Sounds impossible, but there's nothing impossible. For we got, everything is possible. So, I am hoping um, to get my 2,000. You guys can tell that I talk a lot, right? So, if you're not the person who likes someone who talks, you probably wouldn't like me. So, but guess what? Guess what? I don't care. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> sorry that I'm laughing so hard. Someone is making me laugh. Um, subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. Please do not forget to subscribe, share, comment. And as it's going to be a cooking video, obviously, my first video is going to be my blueberry muffin and my second video is going to be my goat curry. So please, 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 please do not forget to hit the notification bell so you could just get the video once and for all. And this is quarantine season. Well, literally on lockdown, maybe not as much as before, but we're still on lockdown. So you could bake, cook, enjoy, have fun, enjoy every moment of just being home and doing nothing. <laughs> I'm still working, but enjoy every more of being home and doing nothing. I hope you guys like this video. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>